Welcome back, little ones. Welcome back, family members. Yes, we got cut off right after we end, we finished doing the prayer and giving your life to Christ. We in the body of Christ, as I was saying. I love you, and Father God loves you more. And uh, we in the body of Christ, may we welcome one another. Welcome my new brother and sister to the body of Christ. May we edify one another, pray with and pray for one another. Pray without ceasing, fast, bear one another's burdens, give love and charity, because they cover a multitude of sin. Glory be to God. We welcome you, my new brother and sister, to the body of Christ. We love you. And Father God loves you more. God bless you. In your walk. Okay, let us go right into scripture. Father God has given me today Proverbs chapters 13 to 15. And we shall read them. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 13. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Hope deferreth maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth, the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is help. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Much food is in the tillage of the poor, but there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul, but the belly of the wicked shall want. Chapter 14 Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. He that walketh in his uprightness feareth the Lord, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. In the mouth of the fool of the foolish is a rod of pride, is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the ox. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. A scorner seeketh wisdom, and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. Go from the presence of a foolish man, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock of sin. But among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Even in laughter the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the wreck of the righteous. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich hath many friends. He that despiseth his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. 
Do they not err that devise evil? But mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolishness of fools is folly. A true witness delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares from the snares of death. In the multitude of people is the king's honor, but in the want of people is the destruction of the prince. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalted folly. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. He that, pre he that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him hath mercy on the poor. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous hath hope in his death. Wisdom resteth in the heart of him that hath understanding, but that which is in the midst of fools is made known. Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. The king's favor is toward a wise servant, but his wrath is against him that causeth shame. Chapter 15 A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise is first knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord, how much more than the hearts of the children of men. A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a starved ox and hatred therewith. A wrath man a wrathful man stirreth up strife, excuse me, Lord, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of the slothful man is an hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh the father glad, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in a multitude of counselors they are established. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season, how good is it? The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Amen? <coughs> Excuse me. In our regular reading, we're still in the first book of Samuel, and we're on chapter 7. The sacred chest is sent to kiriath Jerim. Some of the men of Beth Shemesh looked inside the sacred chest, and the Lord God killed 70 of them. This made the people of Beth Shemesh very sad, and they started saying, No other God is like the, God, is like the Lord. Who can go near him and still live? 
We'll have to send the chest away from here, but where can we send it? They sent messengers to tell the people of Kiriath Jerim, the Philistines have sent back the sacred chest. Why don't you take it and keep it there with you? The people of Kiriath Jerim got the chest and took it to Abinadab's house, which was on a hill in their town. They chose his son Eleazar to take care of it, and it stayed there for twenty years. During this time, everyone in Israel was very sad and begged the Lord for help. One day Samuel told all the people of Israel, If you really want to turn back to the Lord, then prove it. Get rid of your foreign idols, including the ones of the goddess of spirit. Astarte, turn to the Lord with all your heart and worship only him. Then he will rescue you from the Philistines. The people got rid of their idols of Baal and Astarte and began uh, worshiping only the Lord. Hallelujah. Then Samuel said, Tell everyone in Israel to meet together at Mizpah, and I will pray to the Lord for you. The Israelites met together at Mizpah with Samuel as their leader. They drew water from the well and poured it out as an offering to the Lord. On that same day they went without eating to show their sorrow, and they confessed they had been unfaithful to the Lord. When the Philistine rulers found out about the meeting at Mizpah, they sent an army there to attack the people of Israel. The Israelites were afraid when they heard that the Philistines were coming. Don't stop praying, they told Samuel. Ask the Lord our God to rescue us. Samuel begged the Lord to rescue Israel. Then he sacrificed a young lamb to the Lord. Samuel had not even finished offering the sacrifice when the Philistines started to attack. But the Lord answered his prayer and made thunder crash all around them. The Philistines panicked and ran away. The men of Israel left Mizpah and went after them as far as the hillside below Bethkar, killing every enemy soldier they caught. The Philistines were so badly beaten that it was quite a while before they attacked Israel again. After the battle, Samuel set up a, mount, a monument between Mizpah and the rocky cliffs. He named it Help Monument to remind Israel how much the Lord had helped them. For as long as Samuel lived, the Lord helped Israel fight the Philistines. The Israelites were even able to recapture their towns and territory between Ekron and Gath. Israel was also at peace with the Amorites. Samuel was a leader in Israel all his life. Every year he would go around to the towns of Bethel, Gilgal, and Mizpah, where he served as judge for the people. Then he would go back to his home in Ramah and do the same thing there. He also had an altar built for the Lord at Ramah. Glory be to God. Uh, tomorrow, God's willing, we'll read chapter 8, still in the book of 1 Samuel. The people of Israel want a king. You all have love in your hearts. Please have love in your hearts. Tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow. And um, tell them all about Father God, who is Father God, a Father God who is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Father God is the Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit dwells within each and every one of us. If we seek Him in sincerity and truth with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, you shall find Him. Hallelujah. I love you all with the love of the Lord. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. And uh, be mindful. Be loving and kind towards one another. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.